welcome to Bottom Line Sports Talk. I'm George Abram. You know my partner, Albert Kitman. Albert, once we get into July, I know uh, I used to hate when my one buddy would come by the house and he'd go, well, summer's half over. <laughs> I said, will you shut up? But the truth is, the king is around the corner. Yeah, and in this territory, eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania, the king is football. And we know that uh, community, communities are fired up. Uh, what's so neat about this time of year, the expectations of every high school in the area. Everybody's wow. high, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's like the NFL. I got about three magazines. They're all going to win them all. I, yeah. I don't know who they're playing, but somehow they're all going to win them all. So nice to have that hope. Sure. That my team, my community team this year is going to be the team that's going to be playing in the playoffs. And we always look forward to that. New coaches, new players, lots of new coaches taking over and, uh, Anytime a new coach takes over, George, the uh, the fans really get fired up. They think you know, they're blaming the old coach. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> now let's say what the new coach. You know, my favorite line of all time is Jim Valviano. They would move the assistant up. He'd say, "You know, if he knew all those secrets, he should have told the head coach." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we get it. We understand. It, it goes with the territory. I was always told because I went several places. You know, get what you can right away. There's a you know, air of expectation. They're going to try to accommodate you, but once you're there for a while, buddy, now <laughs> you have to dig in. And as you say, you made an excellent point. Like, I'll be somewhere and they'll go, oh, they picked so-and-so fourth. I said, they don't know either. They're going by last year. They, this is high school. This isn't like the Redskins or, <laughs> you know, the Cleveland Browns. The, the, last year, you know, they might have graduated eight seniors, eight good seniors, right. not like, you know, St. Joe, when they have 120 dressed, eight can be replaced. Right. Yeah, high school's that way. That uh, when you got when you have a a season with you know 13 returning lettermen, and you were one and nine last year, that's kind, that kind of dangerous. You don't know if they've improved a lot. They're st still the same. That they that they lift hard. That they they work out in the off season. They because they, <laughs> you can come back with the same team and be just the same way. Bear Bryant used to see about them boys on the other side. Got a lot of players back. Yeah, Bear, but you beat them 56 7. Do, do, oh, do you remember the best line ever was when COVID struck about two and a half years ago, Barry Alvarez? All these guys wanted to come back. And the coach said, hey, you don't want them back. <laughs> Move it on, like Chuck Noll, get on with your life's work. Like some of these places, you know, it, it's, it's not like high school. You know, the colleges want people back to stay a fifth year high school, but here's your hand. No draw. Yeah. What your community puts out is what you get. And uh, there's been an argument all the time about, you know, the, the Cincinnati Molars and the and Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. They, they're, they're dealt a different hand. You can't beat them. Yeah. They're, they're, they're playing draw hand. poker. You're playing no yes, draw. No draw. No, and that's the truth. Like, I, I always laugh. So say, well, they're not going to be real good. I said, they're not supposed to be real good every year. If they're real good every year, already I'm questioning. So am I. Yeah. What's going truth. on there? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's not, it's, we're talking public schools, especially. Yeah, public schools. Uh, yeah. No boundary, in other words. Right. No, no boundary. boundary. And the uh, last thing we want to talk about the king is uh, why it's a king early in the year. You know, you'll mm -hmm. you'll, dri you'll drive by a school and you'll see majorettes. Uh, I see them. Cheerleaders. I see them. Dance teams. I see them out there. Band. Yeah. And the football team. So everybody's involved. Grandparents come to the games to see their grandkids, whatever, whatever they're doing. Absolutely. The king has done it right. The king understands the spirit of the school, surrounds them. Um, we all, I've always told administrators, hey, you want to root for a winning team because the school, school feels like it feels like it's on cloud nine. I've had 10 principals tell me over the years that when the football wins and starts out things, the year generally Truth. goes back. And, and you and I talked about this a, a lot. You know, when these kids, you, you get them out, you get them, they meet other kids, they get to school, they're not as anxious because they know. I remember you used to something about your grandkids. I said, at the very least, they're making friends. Mm -hmm. Like, so from summer ball, that first day in, you know, that first game in middle school or right. that first, it's tough. But yeah, they already know some people. Yeah, anytime you play sports, uh, there's, there's the attributes outside of winning and yeah, losing yeah. that occur. Yeah. People have talked about them forever. But since George and I coached, we've seen it, we've seen it firsthand. Uh, a kid ends up being a, a success who wasn't as confident when he came out for uh, football or basketball. And, and the sudden, band, and even the band, they make friends. Oh, the band's the best place to make mm -hmm. friends. Absolutely. I've always said that, I, and, I've, and I've told that to kids who moved into school. If, you, if, you're having, if you're a timid kid and you have trouble meeting friends, join the band because the band members welcome you. 
There's a welcoming committee in the, in the band, no question. Talk about welcoming committees. The, the, the Youngstown area is always welcome the Mahoney Valley Scrappers. Um, the M and Major League Draft coming up, and uh, uh, they were on a roll. They were, I don't understand. They were 10 and 1, dominating the league. Yeah. Had a rain out, George. Well, they're a couple outs from having an official game, yes. five innings. Yep. Since that time, all they do is lose. <laughs> you know, they, they've lost 14 of the last 17 games. Uh, I like to, you know, I like to talk to the manager and say, "What? what can, how could you go from ten and one, three and fourteen, to, to to that record?" So, uh, uh, but but good baseball, get a chance to see good players that can move on. Anytime you get a chance to do that, uh, I, I take for the price, for the yeah. price you want to take, best, it, take advantage of it. Best bang for your buck yeah. in entertainment. We, you and I, have talked about this too. You go see a baseball player, uh, either a dominating pitcher. Or a guy that hits that ball with that, that there's that extra. Sound, yeah. Uh, Albert, you can pick them out. Yeah, they stand out. Yeah, you, can hear, you can hear him warm up in the bullpen, the, the crack of the glove, yeah. or you can watch batting practice and his sound, his sound come off the bat sounds a lot better. I do the same. I'll be doing an MMA or a boxing and you, can, and you hear this guy kicking the pads and he's kicking those pads. And it's a different. A sound. different. <laughs> yeah. You're thinking that could be the side of my head, you know. Yes. Let's talk about the pros. Uh, well, oh, oh, yeah, the the understated NCAA football shockwaves last week. I remember you and I sitting here and talking about who's going what. Musical chairs. Pitt grabbed a chair. West Virginia had to grab a distant chair. But this one is humongous. Yeah, it changed the landscape completely. Going from the West Coast into the Midwest, mm -hmm. UCLA and Southern Cal coming over and, and grabbing that money. Uh, there's no question about that. The, the money was the issue there. And, uh, and the Big Ten has it. And the SEC has it. Um, yes. I don't think they're worried about any travel plans. I don't think they're worried about it. The money takes care no, of they everything. They can't be Kennedy No, over. they're not. Because if, if you and I would have thought of it, they go, what's wrong with you two? It's 2,000 miles. Right. And that would have been, you're going to take Southern Cal to Rutgers? Yeah. You know why? <laughs> Eyeballs. How do they charge? Cable packages? Things like this? Eyeballs. Now, they're all reaching. Guy goes the other day, he says, why do they went North Carolina? They've had, I said, the Charlotte yeah. area. Yeah, no it's question. got nothing to, see, th this is what drives me crazy, too. Let, let, let's throw this out. I, it, this was on my mind. The SEC, you know, what they're really talking about, Alabama, Georgia, and possibly Florida, or depending upon right. the year. So, yeah. I'll take Boise, San Diego State, and Cincinnati against Michigan State, Mississippi, and whomever. Yeah, they could I'll play, play them. them. They could play them. And yeah. you know who really, I think, got the beating here? They're going to go to, um, I heard rumors today, they're going to go to the uh, what was the Big 12. Uh, the Oregon's going to go. And Colorado's going to jump. Yeah, they had to find a place to go someplace. You have to go, huh? And they have to go when they can you go. You can't wait, can you? Yeah, you no, can't no, wait. That's no, the problem. That's you can't what, wait. That makes and, sense. And, uh, and Oregon, I thought Oregon would get in the Big Ten. I really did. No, I, I'm surprised they're not. Yeah, my yeah. thought was uh, Phil Knight. Yeah, I just thought Oregon's been the best team out there. Yeah. They, they have money. They have uh, brand. So the facilities. Yeah, they have a facility. Yeah, but that's why I'm surprised. They don't, <laughs> now, I'm not cutting down the Big 12, which has always been good no, football. That's fine. But, but the, the, I thought they would join the money league. So we're looking at plain old greed. My guess is that the, the, the Big 12 or whatever you would call it, I mean, yep. that was the Big 8 to me before, must have a package coming. There's going to be some money involved. And they have to be moving quickly. I think they have to be. You know I think what? it has to happen. The Pac-12, their money was so poor. Mm -hmm. they went but don't forget one. now, when they're playing their games, you're snoozed out. Mm-hmm. By the time they, yeah, 30, I'm the start. only guy with no life that watches <laughs> yes. San Diego State versus uh, Fresno. <laughs> Fresno. Yeah. But the TV money will be obscene in this new league. Yeah, You're going to talk about 50 million. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't even describe no. how much money it is. Now yes. travel, <laughs> miss class, <laughs> forget it. Yes. Call it what it is. Now, we talked about the teams. We think Oregon and Washington going to jump somewhere. But I know this. You're going to – don't sit back. Like this lady at Pitt, she better be on the phone. Yeah, they're all on the phones, though. They're all – it depends on if they want you or not. They're all on the phones every day. They want, they want to join a league because they know it's going to be two or three big leagues and they're trying to get in. Now, Al, let me ask you. Do you think they might go to 13, 14 games so they can still I'm hoping. play the max and on the max can fund their That's program? What I'm hoping because I, I look – I look uh, feel bad for those teams. 
because they're going to be out of money. No, they're, they're, gonna, they're not going to be able to apply. Yeah, going. yeah if they don't if they don't include them somehow. No, I, I read I something the other day. I didn't delve into it, but I'm going to delve into it more down the road. 130 teams, fewer than 40 made money. That tells that's why they're doing this. That tells you. No, that's the exact reason that why they're doing this. That tells they know they know what the reason is. That's that's the answer. Now locally, we don't worry. Ohio State is the branded yeah. country. Yeah. Uh, West Virginia and Pitt both. Left out. They're going to have to jump. There's no place. Nobody wants them. I don't. I don't. I don't think anybody wants them. So I don't know what they're going to do with those two teams. I have no idea. Pitch way back in the day when they had a chance, they should have jumped in the Big Ten if, if they, they could had have. a chance. Yeah, yeah. We don't know the story. We never mentioned the USFL, but we'll just mention. They had their title game. Uh, Birmingham won. Uh, the quality of plays. Once again, if that thing, you know what it showed me? Two things. Quarterback play. How immense, which we knew. And you know what else you're going to laugh? Kickers. You know, they just go through Boswell when he kicks it. You just know it's going through. The dude from the Ravens, they just go like this before he kicks it. Right. Well, guess what? The, this was noticeable. Yeah, if you either have one or you don't have one, that's the pros. Yeah, that's, yep. the, that's the truth. It's, just, it's not as easy as you think. You know, wind blowing, little posts are tight. They're a little narrow. Yeah, they're much narrow. You know, you've got to be a really good kicker to, to, to make, make them. In, and I'm figuring if they're in the USFL, they're average Joes. They're not, they're not the best of the best. I don't no, think no, so. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And they, having the game at Canton, at least they had a little crowd for TV. It didn't. Some of those games in Birmingham were nothing short of embarrassing. Now, what they're doing, see, next year there's going to be an XFL. That's the problem. They have competition. Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh, yeah. And as they say, they want to play home stadiums. You know, like I, the Mowers. No, no one's going to the game, let alone going to Birmingham. I know I'm not going to the game. No, you I, well, I haven't watched. I haven't watched no, one play. No. I do a sports show with George Roy here, and I no. don't care one bit about it. No, I flipped it on <laughs> Sunday night out of nothing else on. You right, know, it was right. not like I appointment TV. All right, let's talk MLB. We're halfway. Yep, it's right there. It's yeah. Most of them played uh -huh. 80, 81 games. Uh -huh. That's exactly how. Yeah, we knew the Yankees would be. You call no, it? No, I can't a, say that. But, no, but the, you, you, you the, like the odds did not say that. No, the, but you liked them. Yeah, I did. Yeah. But we can't say we know. No, Toronto. No, no. No, nobody. No, the them. odds. The Yankees were not. What, what are, what are not they? in the top four 26 teams. Twenty six over. Yeah, they're, they're over winning every day. Them. And uh, yeah, yeah, so. But I read something the other day. The point to that. Eighty games, seventy-six games started by the same five guys. That's a pretty good start. But also, they have good five guys. You, know, well, I mean, no. you could have a lousy five guys. I don't know whether you would get rid of one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, oh, the yeah. Yankees that have five good guys. Now, they didn't know. They didn't know that Cortez and Montgomery would be this good. Oh, they couldn't. They have no. Well, they have the no guy idea. From the Pirates hasn't given up a run yet. Yeah. So yeah, that, and that's a reliever, Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. I was know. he a throw-in? He he got traded for two guys and, and Castillo and as okay. one of them. Um, but they didn't know he was going to be this good. I mean, he no, was, nobody. He was a six. He was a, he was our sixth inning pitcher Tom, when he came Tom over. Brady, when he came over, say. yeah. Uh, right when they were making the run, the Guardians, they were making a nice little run. They had some success. They go into Detroit, and boy, as you say, baseball, uh, like that, it's different. Yeah, it is, and that's what's so neat about baseball. Wow. You, know, every, you try to you try to win two out of three in a series. Try not to get swept. Um, it's not easy. It's easier said than done. And that's how you base a good team on series. If they can win series, then they have a good team. And, oh, absolutely. and most, most, most teams uh, want, want to split their series and then try to sweep some at home. Uh, that, that, then they'll be fine. I was looking year. at splits the other day, home and away. Some of them are quite, uh, quite different. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you'd be surprised. You say, ah, what's the difference baseball you Well, there's something. Oh, there's definitely something to it, no question. I, I don't know if it's the fans. I don't know if it's the, the last time at bat. It could be whatever. Yeah. But there's something to it. Own bed, whatever. Mm -hmm. Don't be in yeah, the right. If these guys are out all night. Uh, Pirates beat the Yankees in game one. The only meaning of the whole game was the crowd. The crowd <laughs> showed you. <laughs> yes. They've never had that many people. They could have double country music, firework extravaganza. Yeah. They're not filling. That, that parking goes from $15 to $50. I mean, yeah, they're, they're no, they know what's coming. Wow. They know what's coming. So uh, cool. um, when you have the Yankees in Notre Dame, they, they steal. In 2022, yep. they draw. And, and yep. you know, even though this, we know the Dallas Cowboys. You know, Same people, thing. People, you know, mm -hmm. Well, there's, I said, I'll admit Same it. thing. I'll admit it. But check the revenue, like when the team's playing. Truth. Check the hotels. Check the restaurants. Yep. I saw something Way that day up. when somebody plays Way Notre Dame. Way up. Oh, my yes. Lord. Yes, yes. Now, 
we knew this, but I don't, I didn't, I kind of thought it would be strong. The AL East. Yikes. Oh, no, we didn't know. That was, that was, everybody said that one. So I, I can't, they all knew that My one. My goodness. I thought four teams would come out of there. And, they're going and, to. and right now, it looks like there is. You know what I feel bad for? You know what I'm going to say. You Baltimore. Yeah. I don't think they're up. I mean, no, don't get me improved. wrong. Don't they're get improved. me wrong. They're not. No, they're improved. They're definitely. Oh improved. That's all you could do. 76 games against those guys. They've improved a lot. Baltimore has improved oh. a whole lot, yes. What are you supposed to do? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. It's amazing. Uh, here's the thing. I watch even the National League East. Okay, we know. We knew, you, you like the Phillies. The, the Mets and Braves, we knew. But I'll tell you what, I don't want to go into Miami and face Alcantara. These guys back to back, they're throwing 100 miles on the block. Yeah, Miami just doesn't score enough. They can't and, shoot, and, they can't that's, hit. That's, yeah, they can, but they're not to match those three teams you just mentioned. No, no, no. But pitching wise, don't, oh. don't, don't, don't throw Miami out of it ever. Oh, no. No, uh uh. I watched yep. the other night, I saw some highlights. 99 on the black. Yeah, yeah he always finishes the game. Things too. like that, too. Like, they're. You know, you always laugh. He if it's straight, they won't hit it. Well, well that's why he's good. That's yeah. why he strikes out eight, yeah. nine a game. Yeah, they're not Because his ball has velocity, but it also has movement. Uh, yeah. Judge, his home run pace, he's on pace to hit in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Slow and, down a little bit now. Yeah, yeah. Which always happens. Oh, no. It always happens. Then they call him the dog days. That's why it's a long year. All. They call him dog days for a reason. Yep, yeah, it's a long year. You know year. what I mean? I know that. Scherzer are back one night. Can he stay healthy? Yeah, because he's a great pitcher. You Zero's know that. on the board. Yep, he's a great pitcher, but he has to stay healthy. It's not easy. That's easier said than done because the Mets are struggling. With Their pitcher's staying healthy. We'll see if they can. Yeah, it's been a theme. Yeah. Uh, Otani had about a 10-day streak I, well, I, I followed him closely. He was tremendous. It was just I'm ridiculous. giving him his due. Yeah, yeah I'm giving you him his due. Yeah. You're fair when he does oh, no. what you meant. You call yeah, him Yeah, he wasn't a pitcher. Now he's pitching well. Yeah. He's pitching well right now, yes. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Absolutely. The only thing is the Angels... Over the week, I remember Sunday, they struck out 20. I know. Oh, but I don't yeah. think anything of it, though, because I, I, I see 17 and 16 daily. <laughs> 20. I'm in my mind. See, if I'm, it was eight like, and it went to 20. Yeah. But it doesn't. Like, every, every, every day, in there's my somebody mind, striking out 12. I'm processing uh, 20 strikeouts, and I'm thinking, seven innings of. Up and down. I mean. And part of that is Trout, who's, who's, who's cons oh, was considered the, no, the best player in baseball. I know. As what, really a bad slump. What's going slump. on with him? Really bad and slump. It, and and it, he did it a couple homers, but it was feast or famine. Fam what's fam he famine was way bad. Fam bad? Fam 150 during this per time period. Yeah. One Terrible. Seven, yeah. Uh -huh. do it. Let's talk NBA drafts over. Summer League started the other night. The big boy the first night out, my goodness. Homer. What does summer what does summer league mean to you, George? Anything special? Well, no. Here's why it does, and it doesn't mean anything in terms of who won or anything. I think they're just getting a look at some guys. Gotcha. So I wonder if he could fit in with our big boys. Okay. You know, okay. Like the, no, this home run. I just think, you know, it, to have a halftime with eight threes and seven blocks. I mean, I knew he was pretty good. I didn't know he was that good. I don't think there's very much physical play in the summer, though. I don't think. No, that's that's, my guess, that's yeah. only a guess of mine. Yeah. That he run, he's running free. Yeah. Oh, no. Wants Someone's going to gonna put their elbow yeah. in his Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see. Because yeah. his talent level is oh, yeah. immense. But, uh, you know, the thing about it was I'm, I was reading about Vegas got wise in a hurry. Did they? Changed the MVP, you know, the rookie of the year. Oh, did they? oh my gosh. Al. They went from the kid from Duke to him. Oh, like gotcha. That. They're not. You know, they don't wait for you. Like they don't wait for us to get our best <laughs> no, now. They no. better. They move it first. No. Uh, the biggest story. There's only one story. KD and Kyrie. Well, we don't know. Such I, a joke. That's yeah, all I can yeah. say. When I read the man has four years left, and he's lucky I'm not the GM, because you know where he'd be playing now. But then we could never around. do that. We'd be. We lose you know, our job. Fire, well, no, well, we'd be fired the next day. But, but and that's the sad part. But about he's it. going anyway. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, but we'd be fired. I said oh. if we said you're not playing for me. I'd say you know what? Guess what you can do? You can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we would never last a half can, a minute. You could play in the for NBA. Orlando next year, or uh, yeah, get out. I don't how, want how you. Like yeah. OKC, okay, they're always glad when they're <laughs> guys. <laughs> He's going to have Golden State again. <laughs> I don't. See, then you go, I knew you'd have to do it. Why'd you have? That's to That's where he's going to up. I smell it coming. There's no, Phoenix yeah. is no he's, better. He's going to name us. What are they going to Phoenix? I saw it today. They won. Three guys, one of them the kid from Mosh. I mean, if, to get him, it's you're in. Well, you have to do it that way because you just can't give him up. Who are you going to give him? Yeah. Right. Let's talk about the NFL camps. Now that we were talking about the king, now the real king three weeks away. They start last week of July or so. You said somebody had helmets on, didn't you say he's coming, coming that's up? That's here. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Uh, well, how about Watson case? And they no, have one that? No, same thing. 
She heard it. She was done last Thursday, but she says, I'm going to take my time. And here's the problem. If the NFLPA appeals it, guess who hears it? Who hears it? You, you, it's only you. Goodell. Yeah, it's too funny to laugh about. <laughs> but she did say she'll take her time. Uh, Mayfield, he didn't have a team till this morning. He has, has a team now? Carolina Panthers. Oh, Carolina baby. signed them. We thought Carolina or Seattle. We had no idea. I thought Seattle. Carolina signed them. They huh? signed them today. And the way I read it, I read you know, it was pretty quick because it just happened. Okay. I mean, when I say it just happened, yeah, I didn't hear it coming in. It so I just, just happened. I think Cleveland's paying about eight or ten. I think it had to happen. Carolina's that way. paying the other. They wouldn't, way. Yeah, they wouldn't have done it the other way. Yeah. Cleveland finally figured out that we're going to get stuck with him if we don't do it now. Yeah. And we, not yeah. only that. Yes. You know who I? No, I can't say feel bad because. You know, you, these guys are making the kind of money. But, you know, he's going in there to Carolina. In his mind, he's going to start. And I think their mind is, too. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think this Carolina is saying Darnold's or giving Darnold the job again. I mean, I would think they're saying, Mayfield, you, you're, you're the starter till you lose it. Yeah, Darnold, I, I, I don't know. It throws the ball the wrong team. Yeah, and that's the hardest we, thing to do, you know. We talked about he's, that. he's got talent. You and I talked about that. Ever since Southern Cal, he's done we it. We talked about that. I remember even against Penn State, as good as he was. He has talent, of him. And I remember thinking, you know what, he's going to be, then the Jets changed coaches, you know, and they said, and I thought, well, I'm going to give him another chance. Then he went down there last year, and and I thought, you know what, they got to make a move. Because, you know, the coach is fired. Yeah, Rule's going to be gone. If he doesn't win. Uh, He's gone. No, we'll talk about that. Now, Love and I talked to you about the Browns. They're our local team. Going with Brissett. That's a stopgap measure. And you know what, Deborah? Now, once again, it's the Browns. You and I have been around too long. I heard these people there talking about how easy their first four games are. And one of them is the Steelers. I said, they must not have any old papers. <laughs> they don't have any old papers, these guys. There's no easy games in the field. No, well, first of all, there are no easy zero. games. Zero. When I would say zero in the game, there And is what it. do we mean? Zero. Yeah, Detroit was 0-13 last year. Or somebody started the game. They weren't. And, and four or five of them. <laughs> Were six ten point wins. It wasn't like they they were just getting to be forty seven. You know, you're not gonna. You know, we have, they have our boy there, Swifty. Swifty's our it's guy. Tremendous. Do you know who has the highest paid offense in the league? Is it Detroit? Yes, sir. Wow. So you know, and Pittsburgh has the cheapest offense. In the That's league. about right. They're, they put all their marbles on their defense, which and is, they okay. had money tied up in Roethlisberger forever. Mm, yeah. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, they did. Now, Miami. A lot of talk coming out of Miami. Some of it is my guy from Green Bay, the receiver. He is really, really, and what happens, you know, sometimes, you know, you better to say not that old saying. Right. What happens, the more he talks about how good Tua is, which he's a teammate now, at some point, someone's going to interpret that as a negative about Rodgers. It's just human nature. And when you start, sometimes you're better to say, man, they're both good. Yeah, See you mean. guys. That's what you say. Yeah. They're both good. No I like question. Al. I like my buddy, too. Yes. Yeah. See ya. I got you. Because if I talk long enough about how much I like the other guy, eventually you're going to say, hey, Petey, wait, wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. Right. You know, I'm your guy. You know what I mean? Now, here's what I think. AFC West. Honestly, yo, if you gave me $100, you said put them San Diego, Kansas City, Oakland, Denver. Denver. I'd say, hey, yo, let me switch it around for you. Denver. What do you think? Am, have we given too much credit to Russell Wilson? They do have. Oh pretty- no, Russell Wilson is one of the top quarterbacks. In the okay, and, that's why Denver made this. Going to make the jump, and they play defense. Yeah, Denver's going to make a jump because of Wilson. Yeah, there's, there's, that okay. is a no-brainer. And then you got Herbert and. Uh, oh, you like him in San Diego, whatever they call it, L.A. He's pretty good. Yeah, they can, they can win it too. And Kansas City's, it has been the best team. Yeah, when haven't they won it? And the Ra- and the Raiders are really coming on. So as you said, it's it's uh, it's a really good league on paper. Uh, paper doesn't win the league, though, so no. win, we'll see what they do when, they, when they're playing real games. All right. Now, our miscellaneous section, which we always save for last, let's talk about the, when the Pac-12, when UCLA or Southern Cal or whomever, there are others. See, what happens? We get caught up on TV and on radio, the king. Right. Football, even basketball. That's all anybody wants to hear about. Okay. <laughs> but, L, they have to play in tennis. Golf, swimming, all those sports. Now, yes. Albert, what will happen? How will they do that? And will those pack ten? To, you know how Youngstown travels. They play Detroit one night and so and so the other. Then the other team they switch. Right. Will they come out in twos 
and one will play Rutgers and one will play Maryland, and then they'll switch. Or they're not going to drive. They can't help. My thoughts. What's your guess? My I thoughts. Mean, it's a guess. My thoughts are completely opposite of that. I told you. I think the NCAA is going to be done, out, <laughs> and the football is going to rule the thing and say do what you want to do. And I don't. I, I don't think they're going to be traveling to play those teams. I think the minor sports. Yes, that's what I think is going to happen. I think that, I don't think they're going to be traveling across the country. They're going to be, they're going to be playing locally. Like there's like the lacrosse teams. Not every not every team has a lacrosse team. Okay. Not every team has a tennis team. Well, did you hear the yeah. news? UCLA they're staying home in beach volleyball. What are they going to play out here? Well, that's what I'm saying to you. Yeah. Those kinds of things are going to happen. Football's the king. Football's going to take, do what they have to do. But the lesser sports are not going to. I'd be shocked if if USC is playing Rutgers in softball. I'll be, I'll be shocked. Once it gets <laughs> once really, it gets going, yes. Okay, let's talk yeah. another thing. I was wondering about this. I think we might have talked about this on the radio. The Zags, one of the premier programs oh. now. They're no longer oh, the no. little engine. No, one of the top fives. Now, might they want to come to the Big East? It's going to happen. Oh, really? oh yeah. I don't say that. Like I, I have no schools, doubt. Like-minded schools, not football yeah. heavy. Yeah, that's where they're going. Remember, they're Catholic schools. No football. They fit. The, they fit them. Completely, and uh, they'll get a lot of cash doing it too. Okay. Yeah. You know that that I will say this, because there's so much going on with high school and such, and the local teams like the D3s, the D2s. Right. I'm really spread thin in basketball season, but man, when you watch night in and night out that Big East, oh. it's like back in the day when Pitt was in it. Very good. Absolutely. Very good. No, yes. no pass. Led by Villanova. Hey, if St. John's is your bad team, you got a good lead. Right. DePaul's right. your bad team. Yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. Now, here, here's what I ask about these. I want to ask you about NIL deals. I hear rumors. Once again, I, we know pretty close. I don't know that we know the exact penny. But let's talk about this, the quarterback running back at Texas, quarterback at Tennessee. These deals, we hear them, and, you know, to you and me, that, you know, we didn't have that kind of money. We still don't. <laughs> Can it continue? Yeah, I told you that before it was going to yeah. continue. Yeah, because they got alumni that are just alumni money in. They won never that. ending money supply. They got billions. Of what dollars. does Day say? Day they got, says they got I got billions. Need, he says he needs so thirteen million. So must continue, million. or they're going to lose their players. So they're, they're going to. They're, Ohio State alumni is going to say, "If you, hey, buddy, they're going to call their buddy and say, I, I need fifty thousand. Okay, there, no, no question, because that fifty thousand is like a quarter to us. It's like a penny to I us. I can't even. Nope. You know, I'm trying to think. It, 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 it's like. Uh, you're out in the back printing, you know. And that's what they do. <laughs> it's like, those okay, people live, that, that, I know the people, NFL's an they, ATM. They live that way. I know the NFL's an ATM. Baseball Sunday, if you get up at 11, which is most people are already home from church, they're playing a game, they're streaming a game, and they stream one Sunday with no sound, just the ballpark. Really? No announcers. That's why I see them all. <laughs> well, streaming is way out of my element. <laughs> yeah, but you so, watch some Netflix. What? You watch Netflix? Yeah, oh, no, that's on TV. Is that streaming? Yeah, it's streaming. I don't know what streaming is. What is. So streaming is Netflix? Yes. I don't have to go to my, I don't no. have to go to my, uh, no. my, my phone? No. Oh, no. I, get, I get a smart TV. You get a smart TV. That's yeah, it gets anything. It gets anything right. you want to get. That's well, so yeah. you're, 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 yeah, you're that's more easy on though. the ball than I thought oh, that's you were. easy. Smart uh, TV is easy Brittany to operate. Brittany Griner's still in jail. Now, let's talk. Rook, we only got about a minute. Number one, you're smoking out sheesh oil in the airport. Not a great idea. In Mon- Remember now in Russia. There are no First Ten Amendments. There's no, you know, the, the, this is a different country. Yeah. And not only that, they're at war with a country Crazy that times. we're giving billions to. Crazy times. I would not want to be her. She knows it now, for sure. It's crazy times, and uh, and I, I guarantee that's not number one on the list either. No. <laughs> of our government. In other words, <laughs> I as, <laughs> as busy as Joe Biden is, <laughs> yeah. and I know he got the on letter. On the list, I'm I don't sure see, he's I, concerned. That list. The Brittany Griner's not up here. <laughs> She's down here no, somewhere. I hate to say it, but it's well, true. No, I understand completely with the what things that go on in yes. this country over the weekend. Right. And such, we just don't know. Hey, once again, thanks again for watching Bottom Line Sports Talk. We'll see you next week.